what's the better quarterback coach duo? Peyton Manning, David Cutcliffe, Josh Heupel, Nico Ia Malayava. First of all, I ask you, Caleb, what made this creep into your noggin? Well, obviously, as of right now, I mean, for a career, you're taking Peyton Manning over Nico Ia Malayava. But I went back and thought about it, and I thought, you know, Peyton David Cutcliffe versus Heupel Nico Ia Malayava. The Peyton Cutcliffe combo had two had only one great year and two good years in 95 and 96. And then one great year in 97 where Peyton shattered every record. Like I can't argue with that, but then I thought, so we're not giving any credit. I just want to make sure we're not giving any credit in this debate with Cutcliffe and what he did with Eli or the Daniel Brown kid. This is just Daniel Daniel Jones, him too, but just those two guys, right? Yes, just Cutcliffe and Manning. Okay. And I thought, who would actually be better for the college game? Now, because Cutcliffe, I give him all the credit in the world for developing Manning, for coaching him up. But, I mean, schematically, I don't think he put Peyton in a position to set every record known to man. I think Peyton just mostly just did that because he's Peyton. And I feel like Heupel's offensive system schematically puts Nico in position to literally set every record potentially known to man as a quarterback. John, here would be my immediate answer. Um, Peyton and David Cutcliffe deserve much more credit because the freeze plays that I think Caleb was kind of referring to where you have two plays called at the line of scrimmage and you scream Omaha to go to the other one, that's something that every offense does now. Every offense didn't do that. So Josh Heupel's offense does that now. So to me, I would give credit to the guys who did it first. Yeah, well, we got to keep this in context. In no way, shape, or form are we saying Nico is going to be better than Peyton Manning. He, right. We're we're just, and I think this is a very good a good talking point uh, that Caleb came up with. I look at the Manning Cutcliffe combination a little differently. Tennessee. This basic offense, which really didn't change drastically from Johnny Majors to Philip Fulmer, was really built on balance, and it featured a lot of good running backs from time to time. I thought David Cutcliffe really helped Peyton's stats by accentuating the pass more than he did with any other quarterbacks. Tennessee was more pass first under David Cutcliffe in Manning's 95 through 97. I thought, uh, and Peyton put up some really good numbers. However, when you talk about the college game, as good as Manning and Cutcliffe were together, Tennessee didn't average 46.1 points per game like it did under Josh Josh Heupel in 2022. I, I think the upside for this offense now at the college level is so great. Because you have a, again, it gets back to Nico being so well suited for this offense. And I just think he has a chance to pile up bigger numbers than Peyton could have under David Cutcliffe, or Peyton did under David Cutcliffe. How, okay, in, in my opinion, and I think John just shared that, we think Peyton Manning's a better quarterback than Nico, right? Yes. Yes, I think yes. that's a, a fair job. Yeah, we're not. I'm not, I'm not going to sit there and say any quarterback coming in could be better than Peyton Manning. Right. Yeah, right. I right. know, but you know, people, somebody's going to watch this and say, man, those idiots just said that Nico, he started one game. They already said he's better than Peyton yeah. Manning ever was. What a bunch of morons. <laughs> okay, so let me let me argue this. I. When I look at David Cutcliffe, I see a guy that did a heck of a job of putting that 99 offense on the, or I'm sorry, 98 offense on the field. He said he didn't think they could get a first down in spring camp. So uh, from an offensive mind standpoint, if we're comparing the two parties, are we giving Cutcliffe the advantage over Heupel? Because I believe Cutcliffe could differ more from his core beliefs on offense than Heupel ever could. I don't know that he would ever get away from the wide splits or that he would ever get away from tempo. Yeah, but I just think what Heupel does, he does so well that that I would take him. I, I just think 
I mean, look what he did the first season here. I mean, he just comes in right away and puts his offense in place, and Tennessee almost averaged 40 points a game. The only reason it didn't average 40 points per game last season, and then that that falls on Heupel, of course. He, he had the wrong quarterback. He, he just didn't fit this offense. But if he has the right quarterback, he's going to average over 40 points per game. And so, yeah, maybe David Cutcliffe could – shape his offense at times better for depending on the personnel. But if I'm just looking for who can score the most points year in and year out, I'm taking Josh Heupel. Okay. Let me ask you this, Caleb. I'll start with you. If this offense had to perform with gas to more, something ha happened to Nico, would they be better in better hands with Josh Heupel or a David Cutcliffe? I think that's actually where they'd be even more in better hands with Josh Heifel. And the reason I say it's where they'd be more in better hands with Josh Heifel is um, oftentimes running a offensive system as opposed to adapting to your personnel. Let's look, Hi Cutcliffe is an adapt to your personnel type of offensive coordinator, which is great because John knows this. Most of the time a coach says I'm here to adapt to my personnel. That's because they don't know football and they're just saying what they can say. Cutcliffe is one of the few people who actually could adapt to, to personnel. But that only works if you have personnel that's good. If you don't have personnel that's good, you have to have a system. And so in that regard, I don't think there's any adapting to Gaston Moore that David Cutcliffe would be able to do. Okay, At that point, you need to have a system. And so Josh Heibel would I think he'd know how to keep him out of trouble. <laughs> I think you'd be putting an average driver in a race car right now. You well, better make sure that you've got that restrictor plate squeezed down. I wonder how well David Cutcliffe would have done in 1995. If Peyton Manning would have gone down as quarterback. His backup was uh, Jermaine Copeland. Could have been troublesome. Yeah, yeah and then a and then a walk on named Jeremy Bates. I don't even remember him. Yeah. I well, think. there's no reason you would, but no. <laughs> look up. What, he, he he did okay as an option quarterback. He was still a backup, but he went to Rice and played some as a wishbone quarterback. But the thing about Gaston Moore, yeah, he's limited in ability, but to Caleb's point, he knows this system inside out. And I think the system is so good, and you've got talent around him. I, I'm not saying you can – can win a lot of you're not going to beat really good teams with him at quarterback but i think he could be functional in this offense I, it would still be catastrophic don't get me wrong it's catastrophic if they lose nico the season's done the expectations are done but i'm just saying this guy could come out there and not fall on his face if yeah. he were the, if he were the starter from the get Tennessee's more likely Gaston Moore to win seven or ten games. Seven. Ten. But no. What is wrong with you guys? He wait, can wait, run wait. the offense. But hold on, Dave. Which, well, he can you're, you're, we're, <laughs> you, you don't think it would be a step up from last year? I'm just saying it. I'm throwing it out there. It would be. No. What? Yes. You think Tennessee would be better with Gaston Moore at quarterback than Joe Milton? Did they somebody are... draft Joe Milton, Dave? Yes, in the sixth round. Okay. He's doing how many, how many... So it's okay. just a matter of how time many... he's an all pro player. How, how many teams are going to sign <laughs> Gaston Moore as a, as a free agent? Well, probably the Patriots when they figure out Joe Milton can't play. <laughs>